Imagine that your life is spent in an environment of total physical sensation. That every one of your senses has been heightened to a level that in a human being might only be described as ecstatic. Joseph E. Levine presents George C. Scott in a Mike Nichols film, The Day of the Dolphin. His brain is as big as a man's. It processes information about two worlds, the world of water in which he is born and feeds and reproduces and dies, and the world of air in which he breathes. Is it possible that dolphins are as intelligent as we are? Well, that depends on your definition of intelligence. What about the experiments of the military? I don't know anything about the military. What about their speaking in English? I beg your pardon? First month, first year. Alpha speaking in his own language, of course. I want to visit Jacob Durrell's Marine Biology Center. Second month, second year. 13 months to isolate the clicking patterns from the squeaks and the whistles and the groans. The fact is, Dr. Terrell does not want visitors. Is he hiding something? Seventh month, second year. Ah. Our first phony. Ah. Terrell tell you not to talk to me? What? Did he tell you not to give me any information? Fourth year, here comes our first morphine. Phoneme P plus phoneme R equal You've had quite a day, haven't you? Pa? Pa? Why does Pa speak? Pa speak. Yes. Why Pa speak? He does it for me. Why does Pa speak to Pa? Pa, no, Pa. They're sneaking up on us. It looks like we're going to be forced to come out with the information first to keep this whole thing from turning into some kind of freak show. trained a dolphin to kill the president of the United States. Can you find B? Find B! Stop B. The thing on B's back will hurt me. Find B! Stop B now. Now! George C. Scott in a Mike Nichols film, The Day of the Dolphin.